In the last two decades, the consumer digital footprint has exploded with the advent of smartphones, digital advances, and network connectivity. These digital trails and data are now a very valuable commodity. Globally, privacy laws recognize the rights of individuals over their data. Despite these laws, consumers find it difficult to effectively exercise control and are denied the opportunity to reap full value from its use. Inaccessible data represents a significant cost to consumers and to society. For two reasons. One, consent is sought ex ante for a wide variety of possibilities and tends to be broad and sweeping. I am sure that I am not the only person who does not read the details when signing up for a service. Second, newly created data are often stored in proprietary silos in various institutions, in different locations, and in incompatible formats. This makes it difficult for consumers to access their data. We propose a data governance system that restores the control of data to consumers who generate it. Grounded in national privacy laws, it would require consent on a granular basis prior to the collection, sharing, and processing of personal data. Given the enormity and granularity of data involved, spread over multiple data users and providers, and the need to keep it secure and cost-effective, such a system must be digital to meet these objectives. The experience with the data empowerment protection architecture in India suggests that such a consent-based system can operate at scale with low transaction costs.